everyone. In this part of the video series on ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud, I'm going to talk about content styling and the sync operations with this app. Specifically, I will use tools and workflows that can be used to style and sync content from the ArcGIS platform to Illustrator. So here, I already have Illustrator open. Also, I have launched the app and have created a map board that's about 15 by 15 inches in dimension. For this example, I'm going to use a web map that is shared with my ArcGIS online organization. So I will add that to this map board. I have the URL to this web map. So I'm going to use that, paste, and go. Now that this map is added, I am ready to style this map. First, let me make it a little bigger so it's easier to see the changes we do. Now, as you can see in this data, there are several layers, but all of them are using very simple visualization, with most of them using just one color to represent all features in the map. So we're not able to visualize any pattern or information that may be hidden in the underlying data. The contents pane in the compilation window allows you to style map based on the data, making it possible to bring to surface any such hidden patterns. Let's take a look at this bike layer as an example. First, let me isolate this layer. Clicking the visibility icon next to a layer name turns it on or off. So I'm using that to turn off all the other layers and isolate just the bike layer to work with. Now, this other icon that looks like a color palette opens up a style editor, which can be used to explore the data and style it. Let's choose to symbolize the bike paths based on different types. Now here, in a few simple steps, I've used the power of data-driven styling to design this map. Now I'm able to visualize this layer based on the different bike paths. Let's turn the other layers back on to see what else we can do here. One more problem I already see in this map is that these dots that represent these bus stops are drawing under some of these features, making it hard to see. Might be better to put them all the way to the top. Using the contents pane, you can also drag a layer to the top or bottom to change its order. Now the map looks in an acceptable state, so I can click this sync button in the compilation window toolbar to download this map. As this map downloads, it's accounting for the changes we made to restyle the map and it is constructing the artwork and generating layer groupings based on this style. This process makes it design ready for use in Illustrator. One more thing to note is that once a map is downloaded, the map board can stays locked in place. In other words, you are not allowed to move or scale or resize it. This is to enable any uh, subsequent downloads of data to the same map board. I will show you that in a minute, but first let's take a look at this downloaded file. Let's take a look at the layers in Illustrator. Now, as you can see, the layers and all the artwork is grouped based on the same layers that you saw in your compilation window. Additional subgroups are also created to represent the different symbologies. Now, for the subsequent download, let's say I have want to add some more features to this map. I have a shapefile for all the schools in this area that I want to add. I can add that too using the compilation window. Remember that some of these options are available in the slow click of the add button. So choose to add a shapefile. I'll change the name to something meaningful. Now if I want it, I could also style it just using the similar process that we saw earlier. But for now, I just want to sync it. And I don't need to resync any of these previously sync layers. So I'm going to delete it using this trash icon. Also the base map. Now I can click the sync button to sync.
Now here is your newly added uh, school layer in Illustrator. Now that all the layers I need are created and added to Illustrator, I can proceed to use Illustrator for any further graphic work. To summarize, in this video, we reviewed the styling and sync capabilities that come with the compilation window of ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud app. We use the underlying attributes of the data to change the appearance of a map and synced it to produce a design-ready file for graphic work that will follow. To learn more about other features of this app, be sure to check out other videos in the playlist. Thanks for watching. Thank you.